There you see it. A wide rack uh, opening up the left side just a little bit too much. Didi would prefer to have them on spot. And uh, there you go. I should ask you this question, and I'll wait until after this shot. Trying to make it three in a row. And very nearly does. Crisp, professional shot. Solid six pin is left. Well, why, why don't the pins come down on spot all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Denny. <laughs> well, I really couldn't, can't yes, answer that. Yes, the Mechanics that. Union uh, of the United States. No, there you go. actually, the, uh, the spaces that the pins go into, obviously, with the vibration and everything else, they have a tendency to move a little bit. From, that was a loaded question. I that know, was but, very but loaded. But it was one that people would ask. They right? used to go down on spot all the time when we had human pin setters. That's right. So let's bring <laughs> back go. the workforce. Forget about the automatic pin setters. You could go back and, and bowl at the Holler House uh, in Wisconsin, where they still have pin boys or pin girls. Yes, and it'll probably cost $100 a game to bowl. <laughs> well, hey, if you want them on spot, you got to pay for them. We'll be back with more here from Garland, Texas, after these messages. Kim Terrell working on a strike in the sixth, leading by two. Trying to increase the lead, and Carey has been the problem here in the championship round. Hitting the pocket is simply not enough. Really a nice hit there again by Kim, but the ball's just not finishing hard enough to get that six pin to slap out the 10. And once again, I can't stress enough that coming in from that deep of an angle, it's very difficult to, to be able to do that. Now she either needs to get a little bit more hit on the ball. Uh, I'd say possibly hit the dryer again a little sooner, but there's not that much dry out there for the, the right-handers to hit. And so the former All-America from San Jose State makes the spare as we take a look at uh, some of our top 24 finalists. Hey, there she is in the number eight position. $1,200 week. Betty Morris with a solid performance. Alita Sill, who won last week, right up there again. Elaine Blomenberg, Mickey Giannullius' uh, roommate, travels in the motorhome. Ah, Jan Schmidt working the numbers back in the truck once again in 14th position. And Chris McCune, who is our foul line judge this evening, also cashed in 15th. And we'll take a look at the rest of the top 24 in a moment or so. Breaking up the baby split. Does Kim Terrell? We're a little behind timing-wise here this evening because we haven't seen enough strikes. Trying to get a little bit more hit on the ball, and uh, a lot of times this is what happens. You just overturn it a little bit too much, hit inside your target, and she's trying to make the compensations for those tens. One pin separating Dee Dee Davidson and Kim Terrell here in the semifinal for the rights to move on to take on our top seed, Nikki Giannullius. one of those matches where you get the feeling just one little lucky break at the right time is going to send one of these two ladies into the championship game. Well, with a match uh, this close, one pin separating them, uh, they're looking for that uh, lucky break. Indeed, he got it last time around with a Brooklyn strike late against Sue Nidig. for D.D. Davidson. Now it's going, going to cross, probably come down to the 10th frame. Kim Terrell uh, has, is having D.D. finish the match, so the pressure is going to be on D.D. to do so. Kim Terrell can walk up and uh, set the pace. If you want to take things right out to the 10th frame, 225 for Kim Terrell, obviously. D.D. Davidson, if she would continue to strike, would shoot a game in the 230s. Very important strike right here in the ninth frame. A tug and a six pin. 
pretty fortunate just to leave the six pin there on that shot as uh, you said she tugged the ball inside her target and uh, was a little off balance there at the line and when you do that and only leave one pin uh, you're pretty fortunate now the advantage is to kim terrell I feel like i'm in a tennis match mm -hmm. it has gone back and <gasps> forth both players with an opportunity to take a number of leads neither one able to wrestle away the momentum well, Kim Terrell can get up and throw four strikes and uh, close out Dee Dee Davidson by one pin. That's the scenario that's already going through Kim's head. Two twenty-five if she strikes in the ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. shot in the ninth. Now let's see what happens in the tenth. And you wonder how she left the flat tens after uh, that shot. Well, I think one, one thing we're also seeing, Leila, is, is you have to make a very, very nice little shot on either one of these lanes in order to go flush and strike. Much more aggressive shot, too. You could see the hit uh, when the ball uh, actually hit the pins the lift and the rotation. Skids through the heads and uh, Kim just kind of half smiles as she turns and walks away and thinks, boy, one time I could have used just one little half 10 hit. That'd be the difference. Nice, nice shot there too. Uh, she's just not able to get out the half 10s and uh, Right now, she spares and strikes. She will force Dee Dee to at least get two strikes. Which might be enough. Considering the fact that Dee Dee has one double in this match, and so does Kim Terrell. Strikes have not come easy here this evening. <laughs> Flirting with disaster momentarily, but uh, Kim makes the 10 pin. All right, you make the call. Is it easier to throw the strikes or have to watch him? Oh, look at Owens tensing up there. Owens uh, was trying to help that 10 pin out there, that little uh, slug at it, but apparently it didn't go. He told me he almost kicked the television set in when she won the first one, but uh, <gasps> it's rough. I think it's a lot harder watching, so I've been told. Oh, I don't think there's any question about that. There's nothing you can do. Offer the best of hope. Pretty shot there. Yeah, both of them really were. She could have carried that first strike, but she didn't. So now we'll just have to wait and see. 205 for Kim Terrell. A couple of strikes and a couple of pins, and Dee, Dee heads off to the championship game. Pin count very critical right there for Kim Terrell. She needed that strike to force Dee, Dee to get two strikes. Anything less, Dee, Dee would have only needed possibly a spare in the tent to win. So a very big strike for Kim. Kim Terrell obviously realizes that uh, she has just received good fortune. It has shined on her in this semifinal game. Back with a championship after this.